though I'm more than happy to donate to help research in the field. Huge props to AGDQ for doing this. All right, so, okay, what you guys are about to win is probably, oh, the water world. This is probably the worst speed world, right? That is completely wrong. This is the coolest world in the entire game. I think both casually, it's probably frustrating casually, I don't know. Um, but uh, speed tech wise, this world is crazy. It's got some of the coolest levels. Uh, we'll kind of explain them as we get to them. But uh, hey, guess what? Uh, Diddy's in this game. So yeah, I'm gonna hand it off to Newbie to explain why Diddy is actually good. So okay. every character has above water abilities and also underwater abilities. Uh, Cranky's ability is his cane, so he can whack his cane around and kill some stuff. Uh, Dixie has a hair twirl that can get you through really strong currents that you're not supposed to get through otherwise. And then Diddy's jetpack uh, allows you to boost through the water very fast. So we want to use Diddy underwater basically as much as possible, as you can see here. Yeah, anyone who hasn't played this game casually, uh, Diddy, like you are moving so fast compared to any other Kong movement. Yeah, in the ILs, um, if you were to do this level, let's say, with Cranky, it would probably be about 15 seconds slower overall, which is huge. On top yeah. of that, while you're underwater, it's a lot easier to bonk into something and just kind of uh, make any mistake and hit a, hit a wall and slow down and stop. Good fat us. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of these are very, very difficult to optimize. Oh, oh my gosh. God. That's insane. <laughs> so we have a visual cue there for if you're real good and real fast. That's if you see the Diddy cycle of that rotating barrel. That was like half the Diddy cycle. <laughs> yeah, that that was, was I know. I was like, is he going to get Diddy on accident? <laughs> yeah. This is so early. So again, you might be wondering, all right, so why are we Dixie? Is again, just as Newbie explained, this little uh, hair twirl she's doing right there is the the best mo the best way to get across the current is the only intended way to get across these currents which we need in order to get to the secret exit right here by the way shout outs to retro for hiding that one really well i, I, I had to a guide to this one the first time yeah. it yeah. was super. i just spent like an hour doing this level over and over again looking for it so the there are two routes you can take through this world i mean not two viable routes but there are two routes you can take <laughs> where you can go through either 4A and 4B, which Goldfish is going to be doing, or you can go through 4-2, 4-3, and 4-4. Four, four. Uh, going this route roughly saves about four minutes. <laughs> so, yeah, this was it, it cuts a whole level, and one of them is an auto-scroller, so it definitely makes sense. And this level is, like, super short, even though the next level is trash. Um, so trash with that, up. I'm going to hand it over to Ghoul, uh, who loves this level. This it's a is cool one. the coolest level in the run, in my opinion, for one reason. You use all three Kongs at one point during this. You start with Dixie, you switch to Diddy at the first barrel, and then at the last barrel you have to switch to Cranky to get to the secret exit quickly. Um, so originally we didn't do this. We would just start with Dixie, we'd get through it as quickly as possible, we'd switch to Cranky, and we would just keep going. However, I played around in the IL, and, or, you know, again, the time trials for this a lot, and I found out that maybe it was possible to do the beginning of this in a way that allowed us to get Diddy. But as you saw right there, that was a very clean start. Yeah, which is speeding up this water section quite a bit. It speeds up this water section enough where we actually beat a cycle uh, by... We, we get to this barrel right here two seconds faster. Nice. nice. Good. So. And now we're able to take a secret exit here yeah. with Cranky. Coming up here is one of the few strats uh, I developed. Uh, someone else would have developed it if I didn't do it. But uh, it's called uh, Nan Strats. I didn't come up with the title, though. And we'll explain what that is here in just a second. You want to touch the Nans. Pogo, Pogo. Yeah, nice. So with that, that was a perfect foray. Yeah, yeah that was sick. That was very good. That end looks really scary, but it's actually very safe. Yeah, yeah it's quite easy. But it looks cool, so. All right, so we're going to get over to some donations. Just want to explain this next level. Uh, it's lovingly called... Tropical Keys. <laughs> uh, yeah, this level's <laughs> uh, pretty trash. Poster um, Keygasms. Uh, yeah, so... The sad thing is that normal route there, 4 2, 4 3, 4 4, are three of the coolest design levels in this game. And some really cool speed levels, even if one of them is an auto scroller, because there's so much tech to it. Uh, but yeah, 4B here, uh, we're going to go find some keys and some rooms, yeah. unlock some other keys, yeah. 
and we'll get through the level. The one thing that is funny about this level is that every runner has died here by drowning, and it's a three minute time loss if you die right at the end of this level. Yes, yeah, so there are no do that. There's an underwater meter. Uh, and so once again, he had to start here with Cranky because he couldn't get to the secret exit with Diddy. So he's going to have to wait a cycle here to grab Diddy. And uh, with that, he's going to swim real fast and get through the level. So go for it. Thank you very much, Free Dan, for the $20 donation. I am a cancer survivor, and so I am very happy to donate what I can to help. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much, Logan5, for the $50 donation. Greetings from Germany, my first live AGDQ. Just watched archives till today. Good luck to all runners and have fun. Thank you very much. Aaron Jevlis for the $250.43 donation. First time watcher donator and will likely be donating again later on. It's awesome to be watching live for a change. Speed, uh, for a change. Speed on, guys. Thank you, Lance Charleston for the $20 donation. Just beat Don Kong Country Tropical Freeze's final boss to save myself from being spoiled by this run. It's also good <laughs> to see speedrunning games for charity again. Save the animals. And by animals, I mean the Kongs. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Uh, so I guess to explain a little bit of the text of this level, uh, there are certain transitions where you'll, you'll see he's kind of spinning at the end. Uh, I, does someone else know how to explain that a little better than I do? Instead of doing the jetpack, you'll do the Y, uh, basically the roll button, which yeah. does that little spin animation. Breast stroke, it's, yeah. It's generally how you would move with any Kong other than Diddy. You do it through each portal because for some reason when you exit a portal after that, it seems like it keeps your speed. You don't have to start up and wait for the animation to do the jetpack again. It just allows you to do it right away. So you try to do that as much as possible. So there's a little spin. Thank you very much, Data Gnome, for your $100 donation. Here's for another awesome HDQ. Oh no, he's gonna get you! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the shark just loses interest for whatever reason when you get to that door, so. Yeah, that was a good keys, though. Yeah. <laughs> nice keys. Nice keys. We got right. Godroid keys, so we're good. All right, so coming up. Oh, yeah. This is my, fa this is my favorite level in the game. This level's sick. Uh, time for the strong dong. So. Oh, here we go. <laughs> let's see what happens. Let goldfish uh, do his thing here. Uh, this is, uh, in my opinion, uh, you got the do -si do level that we talked about earlier, which is the dumbest trick in the game. I think overall this is the second hardest level in the game. Second There's or third, it, depending on... Second or third, depending on It's top three. You rank it's it. very difficult. It's top three, whatever you want to rank it as. There are a lot of very, very precise tricks that you have to nail in this, and any mistakes will cost a lot of time or a death, so... Borrow that bomb. Swag bomb throw. Nice. To note that didn't hit the the wall. It actually hit the penguin in front of the wall, and the penguin was close enough to where it blows up the wall. That bounce off that penguin as you grab the bomb is actually super precise. So nicely nailed that. Good. Right here we got a little bit of stop and wait. Uh, but if right here he's gonna grab this bomb at the very highest point, that saves just a little bit of time and starts the fuse quicker. Got past dick poker. <laughs> yeah, that's, oh, that's okay. That's a great this, jump. Yeah, jump. This, ma this level is massively difficult. Yeah. So these these backups, they are possible, but they're very difficult as so well. One of the most punishing things about this game is that when you die, you lose your buddy Kong. So I have to do this whole section solo DK now. <laughs> the rest of us usually go a little safer there, so. <laughs> the nice. That was good. Yep. Into the quad knob. Not sure why that works, <laughs> but if you fire right as that finish is going across on that spin, it'll actually fire you up into the top barrel instead of it's the. It's because point. when the two banger is spinning, instead of stopping pointing horizontally, it actually flicks itself pointing upwards a little bit, which yeah. is when you have to shoot upwards. Crate skip. Crate skip. Yo, <laughs> nice. Oh my god. <laughs> that so seems the, like two seconds, but it's super it's scary. Sweet, yeah. yeah, the intended so really route overall. is just to break the three crates and get to the bottom. But since we have Diddy for the next level, we can just not break them and create a skip. Yeah. Alright, and so with that, this next level, mm -hmm. uh, it, while it might seem like a lot of swing, this is one of the top 10 hardest levels in any percent, without a doubt. Uh, Cruncha really refined this level quite a bit, so I'm going to hand it off to him to explain a little bit about how the level works. Yeah, so I'll explain uh, kind of piece by piece as we go along here, but um, pretty much <laughs> Goldfish is want to do, want, going to want to do this level perfectly because uh, all of the barrel cycles line up perfectly if you don't make any mistakes. <laughs> and if you do, the barrel cycles are about like 
they're twice as long as they are on land, so you have to wait about six seconds for the next one. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Crusher, you have the IO world record for this, right? Do you want to kind of go over a little uh, bit as it goes? I actually don't have it anymore, but <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. But you want to uh, damage boost through those because it takes too long to wait for them to uh, go away. You have to hit those uh, knobs really fast to open this gate. Ooh. That's okay. Yeah, that bonk will make it a little bit difficult to get through, but still made that it. That was close, yeah. All right, so he bonked a couple times. He may still be able to make this Diddy cycle. We're going to find out right now. Nope. All right. <laughs> That was a swag roll into that. Because if you miss that day barrel, you can't go back. Ugh. That was close. Yeah. And this section is extremely difficult. It's very easy to bonk off of any of these walls and corners. But wow. Got through it really Got fast, through that yeah. pretty much perfectly. So because I messed up early on, when I get the next barrel, I'm actually going to have to wait the two seconds. Because it's an underwater barrel cycle. It's again, it just kind of emphasizes how this game, tiny itty bitty mistakes turns into like multiple second time losses. It's very rare to have just a one second time save in a level in this game. Usually, if you look, if you look at our uh, PBs and stuff, we'll say, okay, I can save five seconds here, six seconds there. And you want to have full health going through here because you're not going to not take damage through these electric vines. It's sections. a lot faster to just go straight through that. <laughs> So even if you could get through it easily without taking damage, it would be a lot slower because you have to go around. Yeah, it's still faster than the six seconds it would take at most to get your Diddy Barrel. All right. And if you want to jump in with one quick donation uh, before we explain this next boss, because it's pretty hype. Well, one thing I want to say is uh, we've already raised over twenty-five thousand dollars combined for oh. Tracker and Humble Bundle, and we barely got started. So good job. Whoa. Whoa. All right, so this four boss. boss. Uh, once again, this was why we went to the shop. There's a really, really dumb strat where you can sneak behind Fugu and hit him with Cranky's cane. We thought we needed banana juices, which gives you invincibility frames to get through that, but Cruncha found out something else. <laughs> All right, so the reason we thought that this was impossible with Shopless is that, well, not impossible, but extremely dangerous, is that we thought that once you lost Cranky, uh, then the fight is pretty much over. Like, we thought that we, you would just get bodied by this boss with solo DK and die and lose tons of time. But it turns out that I was messing around with the IL and discovered that uh, you'll notice that he dropped a heart. Uh, when Goldfish hit him just now, his heart drop rate for when Solo DK hits him is nearly 100%. So, ideally, he doesn't want to lose Cranky, but got look, you'll see right here, even if he does, it's a little bit slower, but he can just go ahead and continue. <laughs> this is very scary, too. <laughs> so each time I get one of those hearts, it's not actually 100%. It's about 99.99. It's possibly won't get We've it. only gotten not hearts twice total. It's also a bit scary because those hearts can miss you and you won't get them on I'm occasion. So I'm so scared. <laughs> I know. There we go. Oh, nice. yeah. <laughs> the whole time, my heart was <laughs> If you did that boss without that strat, it would be about a two-minute fight. Yeah. With, uh, with that strat, it becomes only about a 40, 50-second fight. I don't know if anybody's with me. That boss took me like 45 minutes the first time I fought him. Yeah. Also. <laughs> <laughs> Shoutouts to Fugu. I want a beach ball of him. <laughs> yeah, we were thinking of getting like beanbag chairs shaped like Just <laughs> Like watching them squish. <laughs> Do we have spikes on them? All right. Oh, man. Well, they'd be like mushy spikes. Oh, sure, sure, sure. No, I'm with you. <laughs> I'm, Paul. I'm on your journey. All right, sick. So. So you might think that losing Cranky here would slow down the beginning of this level. It actually, it, he'll have to change his strats up a little bit, but it's exactly the same. He wants to switch to Dixie on the first barrel and then switch back to Cranky on the next barrel. I don't know if you want to explain. Goldfish is a big fan of this level, so if he wants to explain. Yeah, I really bit. enjoy this level. So it used to be all Cranky until I did the IL for it and got second place behind NK's NK bounce. But the idea is that for that section I just did with the flutter and there's a big gap that Dixie can cross. She can do it faster than Cranky who has to wait. And he's so, gotta be essentially perfect through this section to get to this Cranky Barrel on time and, and yeah. Yo. 
That's so good. In the IL, it's unfortunately not possible to do that, which is a very... Uh, IL barrel cycles are one cycle ahead of what they are in the actual game, so... One of the cool little customizations about the ILs is that you can actually pick which con you want to go in with, Diddy, Dixie, or Cranky. Boom, I'm trusting you. Yeah. Oh, 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 wow. <laughs> All right, so to explain that, that little cart, you might have noticed the platforms are kind of raising up near the end. If you land on the cart, like, too far back, then it doesn't start the cycle for the raising, the platforms that are rising up and down, and the cart will just fall off and you'll die. For a while there, we just did little hop strats to make sure that we wouldn't die there, but then Mumu said if you land nice. on the right side, you don't die. And that was a really good 5-1. That so was yeah, amazing. That's yeah, very good. Another difficult level. That's definitely one of the harder levels also in the run. It's in the top 10 hardest levels, I'd say. Yeah. Very <laughs> Just the goldfish disagrees. Well, yeah. The rest of us are like, this is the hardest level of all time. <laughs> It's, um, it's very easy to death cycle in, this, in that level where you continually die, especially if you lose Cranky in that very end section. Right. And with that, 5-2 is another barrel, uh, rocket barrel level. Can't really save any time, except for the very end, it came up with a strat that seems like point one second. Uh, <laughs> but with that, again, I'll hand it over to uh, our one and only Butters BB for some donations and some plugging throughout this. Yes, well, just as a reminder, you're currently watching, watching Awesome Games Done Quick 2014, or 2015, I'm sorry, 2014 just ended. <laughs> Awesome See, Games Done the Quick only is a Games Done Quick event held every year in January featuring members of the Speed Demos Archive and Speedruns Live communities. Speed Demos Archive is your premier source for high quality speedruns and information on all your favorite speedrunning games if you want to get into it. And Speedrun Live is the, uh, speedrunslive.com is the best site to race video games online against other players of all skill levels. For more information about Games Done Quick, you can follow at Games Done Quick on Twitter and see information about the event at gamesdonequick.com. <laughs> Don't need it. <laughs> I guess hard. one tiny thing to note is in Donkey Kong Country Returns, uh, you died to one hit. In this game, they made it two hits. So uh, I think Goldfish is doing uh, return strats here, uh, <laughs> challenging the game, the game's level design. And that we can get back to donations. All right, I would like to thank Marcus Person, a name that may be familiar to people familiar with uh, video games, the also known as Notch. For the rather ridiculously over the top generous donation of ten thousand dollars. Wow. wow! See, good thing I took damage. Make sure speed on others. Yeah. We do get to see a little bit of the uh, dynamic over-the-shoulder camera angle that Retro Studios put into the game. We sadly skip out on a lot of the levels that do this in the any percent route, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's cool. It's a thing. Yeah, I think in World 5 and 6, the game actually really ramps up the difficulty. Um, so starting with 5-1, the next few levels are pretty challenging as well, and then World 6 is really hard. Uh, even casually and speedrunning wise, I'd say. So we do weekly races of this, just to note. Uh, every Thursday, <laughs> we're real bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't do it. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> the water's actually a lot closer than it looks there, so. Also, shout outs to my strap. Here it is. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Normally you have to wait for the barrel to come down a little bit there, but that saves like 0.1 second. So yeah. <laughs> that's like my second contribution to this game. So, um, so yeah. Um, but no, yeah, we actually have a uh, anybody who's thinking of maybe getting into speedrunning this game, which I definitely recommend. It's really easy to get into. Again, all the individual level uh, time attack replays are there for you to watch. Uh, and they're really cool. Again, like we're all part of it, and we're a very inviting community. Uh, we do Thursday night weeklies starting at about like 10:30 Central Time. I think is when we do. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, if you guys want to come in and join on that, it's really fun. We invite people of all skill levels. And with that, uh, here's five three. Uh, Cruncha and Michael Goldfish, who have the number one and two RT8 times in this game, they've been trading this level back and forth for quite a few months now. If you want to explain how you kind of refined this level. Yeah, so this was one of my very first world records uh, in the individual levels. And uh, it's one of the, we're getting to that stretch uh, where there are a lot of levels that used to be just Dixie levels, but uh, we discovered that uh, this one is actually faster uh, using Cranky throughout the first part of the route. 
It's one of the rare individual level runs where we actually switch prongs in the middle of it. There's not a lot of them where the barrel cycles line up very well. This is one where we do start with Cranky and then we switch to Dixie at the very end to save a little bit of time. So. Oh. Oh. That's okay. Eaten. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. <laughs> I love how many people when they play these games casually have no idea that you can, they just think you're dead. You just take a hit there, but if you, you know, press the pound button, or if you, uh, just like... Yeah. Uh, you get Dixie anyway, right here. I have or if you have a Wiimote yeah. nunchuck, if you waggle real hard, then you get out of it, so... <laughs> Alright, so even though he lost... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Shout out to Crunch over just randomly finding that you could step on that ledge, so... And as you can see, Dixie is required for that little jump. Cranky cannot cross that gap, obviously. And she actually also speeds up the very end of this level as well. So Dixie's still got some uses in the game, but <laughs> shoutouts to Ghoul. Sorry we've slowly cut her from the route. I have been trying to inject Dixie straight into the run whenever possible. And <laughs> it just doesn't work out very often. Yeah. That was good. Yeah, if he doesn't have Dixie there who can get that sort of height, then